The cost is $10 per session or $25 for all. You do not need to attend every clinic to be able to participate. These clinics are not required, required to try out for the Park Hill Dance Team. For 8th grade students interested in trying out for the 21-22 Park Hill Dance Team, please visit the Park Hill Dance Team website for trial information. You can access the website through the Park Hill School Activities link or find the link in the Park Hill Instagram bio. As you may remember, we are celebrating Charles Drew as our inspirational Black History Month person this week. Such an inspirational man for sure. Let's check out this video to learn more. Why do you look so sad? Well, today is the last day we get to talk for Black History Month, and I love talking about future people. Well, let's finish it with a bang. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about Kirk Franklin. Franklin. Great idea. Kirk Franklin is a gospel musician, songwriter, author, and clerk. He was raised by his Aunt Gertrude in Fort Worth, Texas. She saved up money by collecting and selling aluminum cans to get him a piano lesson by age four. He excelled in music and was able to play and write music while also being able to play some music. At the young age of seven, he received his first contract offer, which his aunt turned down. He did join the church choir and became the music director at age 11. Although with his religious childhood, he went through a rebellious teenage years, his grandmother then got him an audition at the Professional Youth Conservatory that was linked with a local university in the attempt to keep him out of trouble. He was accepted, but soon had to deal with a girlfriend's pregnancy, which led to an expulsion because of behavior issues. Franklin studied with Jewel Kelly and the Springing Chaparrals of Oscar Dean Wyatt's High School. There he was able to be a pianist for the choir. After the shooting of a friend, Kirk Franklin returned to church and began directing the choir once again. He also co-founded a gospel group, The Humble Hearts, which recorded one of Franklin's compositions and got the attention of gospel music legend Milton Bigham. Bigham hired Franklin to lead the DFW Mass Choir to record Franklin's song called Every Day with Jesus. This caused Bigham to hire Kirk Franklin full-time at the age of 20 to lead the same choir at the 1990s gospel music workshop of the American Convention. In 1992, Kirk Franklin organized The Family, which was a choir of 17 voices, which was compromised with the neighborhood friends and associates. They also became Kirk Franklin and The Family. In 1992, Vicki MacLatelde, the co-founder of Belgian record label Gospocentric, heard one of the demo tapes and was so impressed, she immediately signed up Kirk and the family to a recording contract. In 1993, the group now, as, now known as Kirk Franklin and the Family released their debut album, Kirk Franklin and the Family. It spent almost two years on the gospel music charts and charted to the R&B charts, eventually earning platinum prestige and remained number one on the Billboard Top Gospel Album charts for 42 weeks. It was the first gospel music album to sell over a million units. Two years later, after releasing in 1995 a Christmas album entitled Kirk, Kirk Franklin and the Family Christmas, the group released What You Lookin' For in 1996. The album was certified two times platinum and earned Franklin his first Grammy Award for the Best Contemporary Soul Gospel Album. Kirk Franklin went to win on many other awards to produce lots of other chart-topping songs. Through this time, they did go through the struggle, but he always had God to overcome. Kirk Franklin is definitely an inspiration because the shows that you can get past hardship when going back to things you believe in and are passionate about. Well, I guess you guys will just have to see us next year for more Black History Month things. Yeah, I guess so. Bye. <laughs>
Motown. Like this part right here. Come on. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the something to it just to encourage you we're gonna take you to church later let's go to all my brothers out there to all my sisters in the struggle till that day Great video, ladies, and thank you all for celebrating all these amazing people with us for Black History Month. Make sure you are showing our amazing teachers how much you appreciate all that they do. That's right. What better way to show love and appreciation for our teachers than to fill out a thank a teacher form? Teachers, please have your students open their laptops after our show. Go to our Congress webpage and complete the thank a teacher slash staff member form now. Well, that's all for today. I'm Zoe, and today is Friday, February 26th. And I'm McKenna, and it's a white day. Have, Have a, a good, good weekend, weekend Cougars. Cougars.